Hey guys, I'm Mike, and this is the Board Game Rundown, and we are at Gen Con, booth 1931. I've got my buddy Wes Todd with us, and he is going to show us an exclusive look at his prototype Claw. This is a game he's been working on for a while. You may have already seen our tabletop simulator video about this. We're going to dive into it using physical pieces. I'm stoked. Take it away, Wes. Yeah, I'm actually super excited as well because I've never played the physical copy of the game. This is the very first for me as well, and it's really super fun to be able to set it up and, and look at it. Uh, but this is Claw coming from Braincast Games. Uh, myself, uh, Justin Goggin, and uh, Sean Goggin have uh, assisted in creating this game with me. It is super uh, vicious. It is very crazy, very fun, very deep. Uh, lots of uh, take that element to it. So uh, I, I had an opportunity to, to beat Mike earlier, and I very much look forward to, uh, to doing it again. We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we've got to have a little healthy, healthy ever here. Well, basically, the way that it works is this is Claw. This is the grime, the area that we're living in. Uh, as you can see, there are only two uh, lit wells that are what these little guys are here. These are scavenging wells that give us lots of special powers. The goal of this particular game is to defeat the claw here in the center. Now the claw is a, basically an aggressive organism that has started to take over the bodies of uh, different grinders that live here in the world. Um, and what we're trying to do here is eliminate the, as much of this population in the center as we can and uh, get into the center here and take up all of those pieces. Those, these are the cogs of the claw. Uh, the way that we do that is by uh, playing different items that we have on our board. We're going to have the opportunity to play uh, sky ships, uh, our, our tanks, uh, as well as zeppelins. Uh, and then we have these uh, labs that we'll be able to put down to create some additional things for us as well. And we're going to be working through our area here to get to the very center in hopes that we are able to deplete that area. But at the same time, Mike's going to be doing that as well. And my goal is to beat Mike. So I also have to beat the claw and Mike. Uh, and I'll be doing that by using vicious characters that we have available to us called our Dwellers. They give us special powers that will be able to do really bad things to the other player, as well as uh, we could use our special uh, instincts that come from these amazing wells that are part of our game. Uh, so as you move to this next area here, you'll be able to light wells and gain special instincts that you can use as extra powers during your turn. So we don't technically have a level up mechanism, but we have a level up mechanism because the more wells you have, the more powers you have, the more powerful your actual turn becomes. So without further ado, we have already uh, taken care of our dwellers here because there's a draft at the very beginning of the game that allows us to be able to grab these three different dwellers. And uh, we have to play an aggressive game of paper, rock, scissors to see who goes first. Ooh. So aggressively, paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Okay. okay. All right. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Ooh. Ah, okay, I well, get to go first. I wasn't aggressive enough. You weren't aggressive enough. You need to try harder next time. I do. Okay, so uh, what are our objectives that we're looking for that can gain us extra victory points? <coughs> we have use four intel cards during the orders phase for three VP. Okay. We have eliminate four cogs during your turn for three VP. Ooh, okay. We have eliminate two constructs during your turn. All right. Excluding zeppelins and labs. Three VP. All right. Cool. Is it... Uh, Player constructs? Okay. Player constructs, oh, not claw. Two player constructs, yes. All right, so those are going to be a little challenging to get here early on, but that is A-OK. -okay. Um, since you're going second, you get two Intel cards, and I get one Intel card. Now, Intel cards are used uh, to maneuver the claw token as we uh, begin that portion of the phase. They can also be used to maneuver our, our tokens on the, uh, the rondelle, which we'll get to during the order phase. So the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, we also need to start off with a... Uh, a uh, construct lab here at the top and one uh, goon that's available for us. So I need to move. I have three different basic actions here, which will allow me to either move, fire a cannon, or generate a goon at a lab. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this guy to here. And now that I have a goon in this location, I have lots of different options that are available to me. I could use this exploration token to light a well, which I'm going to do. So I'll give up this exploration token, and then I have to sacrifice one of my goons or excuse me, one of my dwellers to be able to uh, get that particular well made. Um, so right now I'm going to actually take this uh, dweller, sacrifice him, and turn on a hunting well in this uh, district there, which will be very exciting. Um, now I'm going to uh, use an uh, engineering token, which will allow me to build 
uh, any type of a construct. So I'm going to build a lab in this district as well. So with this, I now have the ability, I have presence in this zone. So when we do our generation phase, I'm gonna gain an additional uh, goon in that particular zone, which is really exciting. Uh, now I'm gonna move again with another one of my basic actions over to here. Yes, that's where I'm going. And then um, I have the ability to use this scavenging uh, as a wild token. So I'm gonna do that so that I can light another well. Uh, which will allow me to then do another hunting well because here on the top it shows the hunting icon So I'm gonna light another hunting well over here on this side uh, and now I only have hunting and um, Survival available so survival allows me to put a level two goon in a, uh, a district with a well uh, or with a lab excuse me and then hunting allows me to push um, to, to push these grinders around and follow the AI track as long as I'm adjacent to it. So for right now, I think what I'm gonna do is just leave it alone uh, and I'll be good with that portion of my turn, but I am going to uh, use this last option here um, to put another level one goon here in this zone. And then that will end my turn. And we started with the instincts that match our dwellers. Yes. You may have mentioned that, but I added them after you said it. Fantastic. Um, and of course, you discarded cards to get even more instinct. Mm -hmm. I'm debating if I want to do that because I didn't like some of the dwellers I started with, but I love that option. Yes. So, um, first and foremost, I need to get myself a goon over here where my lab starts off. And yes, I definitely, we've got to get moving. Mm -hmm. And after you move, you very much want to get yourself another lab or light a well. Um, I'll go ahead, um, the lab. So I'll spend the purple to go ahead and get another lab out. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm so used to seeing the tabletop simulator chips, <laughs> Wes, that I'm, that's our regular lab, uh, Flip correct? that one over, yep. Got it. Perfect. Okay, that's a regular one. And, Got uh, flip, it. Flip the one that you had in your main zone. That should be a construct lab. Oh, that's right. Yep, okay. that one there is a bio lab, so you're good. There we go. Okay, yep. so I uh, dump my purple um, to build a lab. Mm -hmm. To build a well, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, whoops, I'm putting the wrong thing out. I got to do that to light a well. Correct. Uh, I want it to be a blue well, as Wes All knows. Right. And then, so you're going to get rid of your blue dweller there to be yes. able to do that? Yep. So he's got to go away. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to move this guy again. Did you still want to build that uh, lab, though? Because you, you did use one of the yellow ones to build. So you still I don't have been, a yellow. You should have started with one of each. That's what I was missing. Yeah. One of each plus the cards. Plus the cards, yep. That's what I, I knew I was missing resources somehow. <laughs> yep, there uh, you go. So my bad. You're all um, good. Okay, so yes, that's where that yellow goes away mm -hmm. so that I can build that construct there. Or um, the lab. Yeah, yep. my lab there. Which I think you threw off to the side. Yep. Yeah, that works. Which flip is flip that it over because it's a, a bio lab yes, to start with. sir. I got to pay attention to the flow of the claw out here mm -hmm. during my movement. I want to move him here so that he's two steps away from where this guy can get to him. Exactly. Because his strength is lower than this one and he'll just wipe me out. That's correct. So now what I need to do is use up some of this instinct as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep that much in turn one, which means let's go ahead and light another well. So let's dump purple. Okay. And then when we do that, we'll go ahead and do another. Light another blue. Another blue. So you don't have a blue to do. So you can either do light a red or a oh, purple. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting you have to discard these first. Yep. Um, we can't let Wes do all of the, the hunting. fun uh, claw pushing because that's what he's setting up for. I am. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't. Either. I would never do something. I like know that. you wouldn't do that, yeah. and you haven't before in the past. Never, never done that. Um, I will then generate a goon. Okay. And so I'll generate him here, so Perfect. he's safe from the movement, and he's not in line it, when uh, West inevitably moves him. Again, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't either. And it seems like a crazy thing to I'll do. I'll go ahead and spend a blue to generate a level two goon yep. um, at my construct lab back here. All right. 
and then we'll spend another blue to get another level two goon out. Cool. Technically, you could put him where the bio lab is as well if you decided you wanted to. And you, oh, it's like up, up to you. Here. Yeah. Okay. As long yeah. as it's a lab, they generate at either That's location. That's right. Thank yep. you. Mm -hmm. I will keep them closer to the flow here. That works for me. And then my green can be a wild. And it would be nice to use that to get another construct lab out. Yeah, you can get a bio lab out for that, absolutely. Or the bio lab, yes. I keep mixing the names. Sorry. And he would have to go here because it can't be here. Correct. That's a little close to where Claw is at, which makes me that's, nervous. That's okay, though. He's yeah, good. no, it's not because he's already got those red instincts I got to watch out for. Well, you could always flip over your bio lab to a construct lab with that's that token. Right. And then that's I, right. you could build constructs there. That's what we want. Perfect. Okay, I'll call it a turn. All right. Uh, so technically, one thing that we did forget to do uh, is to run the Claw in between the channels because I was so excited to see your turn so in between our turns there was supposed to be a claw action oh that's which is bad for me the gun. yeah i totally jumped the gun that was my bad we got excited yeah we got super excited so we're going to do two back-to-back -back claw actions should have been one after each one but it's fine so move the threat marker forward four spaces so that's going to be the threat marker there move it forward four spaces perfect so it's going to be on blue do you want it to be on blue? Blue will drop here to this area, which drops technically eventually into mine. Seems fine to me. Seems fine to you? All right, I'm fine with it as well. Uh, so now we're gonna draw from our claw bag here. These have lots of different chips. They can have all kinds of fun and exciting things inside of them. And we have a rhino, which means that it pushes this guy out of the way. And now this rhino is gonna go all the way around the track on the regular basis here. So that was that first option. Now, the next one, which technically happens after your turn, uh, so we're back on track now, is we move the threat marker forward one space and we draw another call card. The problem is we're gonna draw another token here as well in between there. So we can move it forward one space. So if you'll move it into the one space place and then give me that token, because that gets put into the bag here. Um, now, it is, uh, this is an opportunity to use Intel. I can hear you and I can barely hear him. So this is an opportunity for you to use Intel cards if you want yes. to move that token uh, to a different location. Because first place, I can tell you exactly where this token is going to go. Uh, it's on you because I'm technically first player. I will not use an Intel card. All right, cool. So here we go. This, let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, oh, it's a level 10 grinder. So if you'll push that one over to B2 there. Uh, so the one that's on the five. Yep, there yep. We go. And then that's going to go out right there. Perfect. And now we're going to draw another card. And now we're going to move the threat counter forward two spaces. So it'll be on green, uh, which will be kind of falling into your area eventually. I'm completely fine with that. Are you fine with that? Otherwise, let's see. This Otherwise, you could use it. Would move, move them here. Yeah. And this would move it there. Yeah, or you could go backwards. I could go backwards. Yeah. I will use an instinct card. All right. Or, uh, so the Intel, Intel card, card here is, is a two. So is it going forward or backward two? Forward to here. Forward to three. Okay, that makes sense. Excellent. So uh, that's fine. I'm going to pull the, the uh, token here. But no, yeah. And it's a 10. All right, so it's going on the blue again. So this goes here. This will go here because this goes forward. So if you'll move that five into your zone there. It goes there, yep. and that goes there. Now the good news is that five and turns into a four because it is uh, taken down one by yep. yours, so but unfortunately you do lose that, uh, that red dies, well. And my well yeah. goes away. It's very Thank unfortunate so for you. It's rough. So yeah, oh, it's yeah, very yeah. unfortunate for you. But we're okay. Yeah. Uh, so now yeah. it is the order space. Yes. So with the order space, we're going to work on our rondelle here. Now this is covered up because it only works in three and four player. Uh, so we don't have to worry about it for this. But the very first one here, this will be a market action, which means you gain two dwellers from the market. Um, this is our... Uh, uh, <laughs> our area here on the side, which is our draw area, which is called the... It's the zone for the dwellers. Why am I blanking on it? We'll skip it for now. This is the two instinct tokens. So you can grab a green instinct token and any other one that you want. 
And then this is two additional Intel cards. This is called the Dark Hollow. I remembered now. Yeah. The Dark Hollow. So you get to grab one of these face-up guys so you know exactly what you're getting. My favorite. As opposed to two random ones. Just for the record, we have a passive guy here. Gain one additional exploration. So you'll gain two purples instead of just one. This one here is an instant action, which says eliminate one lab in any zone. Another passive. So this is a blue and a yellow. So an engineering and a survival. Um, this one here is force any claw construct to perform its movement action. And then an instant here, which will upgrade all level one goons to level two in any district. So if you have a whole bunch of level one goons, you can just make them all level twos, which is pretty cool. Nice. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am playing the green character here. So I'm gonna say I would like to be on the very first market there. So if you would push me over there, that'd be great. And you could go anywhere on this rondel you want. You can place that token any place you'd like. Okay. And the market is those fun cards there. Uh, the, the line one is the yes. fun cards in the dark hollow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had a good idea. And mm -hmm. I'm going to... I need some more dwellers, so All it is right. what it is. So the key here is that now we have the ability to play Intel cards again if you wanted to mess with the other person's location. So if we wanted, we could play an Intel card face down and do such a thing. Um, I am the first player, so I say I'm not going to play one, which means you can play one now with and do whatever you want because I can't challenge you. I will not. All right, sounds good. So here's what we're going to do. We'll pick our ones. Which one of these guys did you want? This awesome passive one that gives you an engineering? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. It's the one I would have chosen as well. Why did I pick before you? Uh, well, I, I'm just giving you the opportunity because I don't get these. I get two off the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I, yeah. I. Totally fine. All right, so now these are going to move up, and we're going to gain three new dwellers that will sit out here. And now you're going to gain an Intel card. I gain an Intel card, and we both gain a Dweller as well off the top of the deck. Dweller instantly goes down if you have the spot. As long as you have a spot, yep. All right, you could have a hand, a total hand size of five, and that includes between Dwellers and Intel cards, so we're still good there. And now we would have an opportunity to refresh these if, they, if we needed them. There, We haven't used any, so we're good. Uh, and now we begin again. Now we look for whoever is the first place. So I'm currently in the uh, first player there with the farthest left token. So that means I'll get to go first this turn. And don't let me forget, uh, we also need to We've regenerate. So yes. now uh, we'll get all of our different well tokens again. So you'll get one green automatically, and then you get an additional blue one, whereas I get two additional hunting. And then you gain for your dweller cards as well. So I'll gain two additional blue and an engineering. So two blue and a purple. I had to scold Tim for being loud. He was loud. He decided right to have a conversation you. directly behind me. I apologize. <laughs> it's good I can hear Tim. him more than you. That's totally fine. I'll try to be even louder. No, you're booming fine. Booming voice. And nobody's as loud as Tim. That's true. He's very loud. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good thing. All right. It so is. now uh, I'm going to take my turn to so flip all your action tokens back over. And let's see. What are we going to do here? Um, I am going to uh, use this Dweller, which is an instant action to steal uh, a Dweller from another player. So I would really like to take that uh, passive I bet you would. passive Dweller right there, if you don't mind. Um, I did not gain my additional engineering, which yeah, I should definitely have. Definitely do that for sure, because yeah. like, I feel bad about it. Yeah. Almost. Well, I know. Um, good. Don't feel and too now, remorseful. Uh, you have a lot of survival tokens over there, and this guy here allows me to steal three survival tokens from you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Oh my god. So if word. I can have those three, that'd be great. Thank you so much for your wow, donation. Wow, that instinct I had was pretty neat. It was I guess great. I should have paid attention to what you had over there. That's, That's okay. The, you know, it's fine. The downside of this big table. Don't worry about such things. It's no worries. <laughs> yeah. It's totally fine. So I'm going to flip my first one over here. Oh, I forgot. We also have to put out oh, one yeah. at each Generator of our labs. Generator goons. Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, level one people though, not level twos like I accidentally Cheating. Did. Totally cheating. Um, all right, so the next thing that I need to do here is uh, get get moving. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is spend a survival here, or uh, uh, scavenging, excuse me, the green one here, to build another lab in this location. Getting dicey. And then I'm going to spend um, three of any token, and right now I'm going to spend those three that you gave me, to, to flip this over 
to make it a construct lab so I can start building constructs there, which will be really, really cool. Um, then the, the next thing that I'm going to do is use this hunting token to push that level five down into A2. So if you can just whoop him right in there, that's really nice. Perfect. It's so good. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, spin. I've already spent this movement because I didn't actually move because I'm weird. I'm going to move right there. And then I'm going to spin this hunting token to push that level five guy over into A3. And then, then I'm going to spin this hunting token to push that A3 guy into B2, which, uh, that, yeah, yeah, th this guy actually goes down into your other zone. Oh, though. he does. I, I Unfortunately, looked at the wrong spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy. So the five, he's four. So the good news is you can just get rid of that. Yeah, exactly. It does unfortunately kill your construct lab, though. Um, so sorry about that. So oh, even though my strength was higher than the. Yeah, because the constructs are the first things that go. Okay. So all labs die, unfortunately. Okay. So the good news is I can't push anything else for now. Um, not that I really want to, but it's it's good. It's fine. Um, so now I'm going to spend one movement to move back here to this location. And then I'm going to spend three more um, of these survivals to actually get three level two goons down. Into there. And then I'm going to spend... Uh, another three random tokens to equal a scavenging token so that I could build a rhino here, one of my own little uh, tanks. And then I'm going to move all of them into this zone here. So the way that this fight works is you take the highest tokens and you work your way down. So we're going to take this, we'll kill this, and then everything else survives. And now I'm technically out of my movement actions. But the good news is I have another dweller that allows me to take one more uh, additional action during my turn. So I'm going to get rid of him. And then uh, actually, I'm not going to get rid of him because I don't have enough. I forgot. Never mind. I'm good. Um, that'll be the end of my turn. OK. <coughs> All right. First, we'll use this yellow to um, build a construct which I'm gonna get a tank over here, and then I'll use this green to build another tank here. Love it. We're going to use red to get this 10 out of my way. Very good plan. And then we need to mobilize these cannons we've just built. So we're going to move. I have a troop size of 11 here. So we're going to move all of these guys as one movement. Love it. Well, the only thing is I will stop there, but I guess it'll get it out of the way. So let's just do that. Gets it out of the Two way. Two yep. more movements. All right. So that I can just move this unit of six, one, two. Okay. Which means they cancel each other out. Correct. And I'm left with him here. Perfect. That's really and good. And that is my turn. All right, you know what we forgot to do again? Claw in between. Claw in between. We are terrible. I'm the designer of the game, and I'm literally forgetting steps. It's awesome. Um, move the threat marker forward two spaces. So we're going to move two spaces forward, so give me that other token. There we go. All right. It is on green. It is on green. How do you feel about green? I feel great about green. I'm okay with green. All right, green it is. Okay. And unfortunately, it is a cage, Oh, which means um, we're going to look at this number, number one. So the goon in the first place, which is my passive goon that I stole from you, I'm very upset about Good. losing. It goes away, and then, yep, that goes away into your area, too. And then we draw yet another token. And this token is another rhino. So um, this rhino goes out on green, and you already killed the other rhino, so we're good to go there. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now, for the one that goes after you, add uh, 10 claw grinders to the current district, which will be green, um, and uh, move, ooh, let's see, threat marker triggered zone. Yeah, and then move the threat marker forward one space. So uh, it's going to go forward to the blue here, but it's going to drop a 10 right there. 
So a 10 goes here, and unfortunately this comes into here, so I lose five, And but this comes off, so we're totally fine. All right, and then this comes forward to the blue zone, and that's where our token's gonna go. So we draw one from the bag. Are you good with blue? I am not good with blue, so I'm gonna move I'm that. I'm very content with blue. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna definitely move that. Uh, we're gonna go back to green. So unless you change it, it's going back to green. Are you good with green? I wanna move it up to blue. Moving it up to blue. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, uh, fine, it stays on blue. Okay, so this, oh, great. Okay, so this is one of our reavers. So the reaver is gonna go to this location here and then it's gonna push this to here and push this to here. What happens now is this reaver moves two spaces every turn and it goes in a counterclockwise direction all the way around, follows the twos and threes. So now we have an internal going this direction, which is now gone because I killed it, but we have the other going that way. So wonderful. So glad we got that a happened. tornado of claw tornado going on. Tornado of claw huh? going on all the way around. Yeah. All right, so now it's back to our orders phase. And here we are at our orders phase. I have to go first. I have to go one or two spaces forward. So I'm going to go two spaces forward so that I can, uh, no, I'm going to go one space forward <laughs> so I can get on that two instinct. Perfect. And now you can go one or two spaces, either forwards or backwards. And at the end, don't forget, we can use our Intel cards to push us farther if we so desire. Yeah, somebody keeps stealing all my instinct, so yep. I need some. Instinct it is. Very smart all the way around. Do you want to play? I'm not playing any Intel cards. Do you want to play an Intel card? No. All right, perfect. So we're good. Now, uh, that will, so you'll gain a green um, and then any other color that you'd like. Yep. So I will take one of these blue ones for no See, particular reason. Take an engineering here along with oh, my green. Oh, yeah, you're, he's right. Those are better. All right, and now here's a dweller for you, and here's a dweller for me. Here's an intel for you, and here's an intel for me. Immediately put the dweller if you have a spot Yep. down. And now you'll gain uh, intel or instinct from your uh, wells that you have Which active. Green and blue. So I get a there and then two reds. Okay, and then you'll gain them from your dwellers as well. Two more blues. Perfect. And then uh, now you'll put down your uh, your goons here at these locations. Anywhere you've got a lab. Oh, All right. Nope. Just that one. Okay. And now we are ready to go. Uh, so I go first again. Um, here is what we're going to do. I am going to generate five uh, goons at one adjacent district. And these are all uh, level one goons. That's so a good one. that's a good one. Yep. Two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to generate them right here in one of my adjacent districts. And then I'm going to do, 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 do. I'm going to build uh, using my uh, construct lab here. I'm going to spend an engineering and a, a scavenging to build two of my tanks Ooh. here in this district here. Loading up. And then I'm going to move up to two constructs that I control one in one district. So I'm going to move these guys into here. So now they're here. And then I, oh, let's see. Then I'm going to, oh, I really don't like that guy there. That's a big problem. I really don't want him to be there anymore. Huh. Okay, so uh, I need to generate a level two uh, goon right here in this district and I'm going to generate one more level two goon in this district because I forgot that I didn't have enough <coughs> people there and then I'm going to push them I'm going to use a movement action to get them to come over here so that they will kill this guy 
so that at least is covered now and I've got a little bit of breathing room not a ton but a little bit um, yeah and I really need to stack something there too man it's gonna be not so great all right so then I'm gonna use this to generate um, a level two goon as well and put it here in this area and then I'm gonna move these guys into here so that they're gonna be prepared for that guy to come over here um, because that's gonna be a problem and I need to get him killed so that he doesn't kill that that's too 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 powerful uh, then I'm gonna do my last movement action to move into the center here I've got to kill this stronghold first so I'm gonna spend these two right here which killed these? I just got the all-in Kickstarter at Castle Burgundy. Colors. I still Whoa! Oh, sorry. Still Congratulations, okay. man. That's <laughs> awesome. I didn't even open it. I said, if I open this thing, crack it open. I don't Good know how for to you. Play, so we're going to do the 3 o'clock. Like, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, Congrats, right. man. And right with my Cthulhu Wars, which everybody else is nice. angry about, too. Oh. Hey, there you go. Uh oh yeah. All right, so that was 10 out of the center. And now I've got five here plus two here so I'm just gonna send this guy into here to get one of these center pieces yeah. and now these all have uh, icons on the back which gives us points but we don't know what those are until the very end of the game so we're just gonna leave them here on the side and that is my final action for my turn okay well we've got a serious problem and that is that Wes has way more troops out than me but we need to do the claw turn thank first. you for reminding me you claw turn first all right so here Move the threat marker forward two spaces and add one cog to the center area. So one two, which would be green. Yep. So uh, green goes there. I'm totally fine with it being there. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, not so much. Not so much with it. Um, nope. So I'll play that. All right, which is going to move it forward or backward two spaces. Yeah, I'm going to move it forward to blue. Forward to blue. All right, so I don't like it forward to blue, just in case you wanted to know. Um, blue's a little full right now, uh, so I can't allow that to happen. So I'm going to move it backwards one space to the first player so that I can move it and put it somewhere else that's not there. What I'll tell you is I'm, I'm, I don't want you to lose, right? I, just, I, I, I will move it and put it in green. So it'll go to green. I'm totally fine with it being in green. If you're okay putting it in green. I, I will put it in green. Then I'm good. All right. I'm not going to put it in green. But I know. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I really am going to put it in green. <laughs> okay. I don't have to, you know, the, the, you can make deals. I was waiting on you to, to switch it to, to this region. Yeah. So it is what it is. It's a tank. I allowed so him to do it. That's going to go into there. And that will go there. Perfect. And now, sir, it is your turn. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so the way we're going to kick this off is we've got to get a construct lab and we need to get that right here uh, Because so we did are you play you, you put two yellows down to make the construct lab or you flipped over a, an existing bio um, That works you can put two tokens down. Yes, there. immediately there we go. make the construct lab. It's yep. perfect. Yep. Okay now we got to build a construct uh-huh which is going to be, oh, that's right, my out of tanks. Did I wipe them all out? You still I, have one at least. That's right, I put them out. So yeah. he needs to go here. There you go. That's three level two goons. Nice. That is awesome. And our goal is to get something oh, out of the middle. I forgot to do this on our on the end of the claw turn. This should have moved over here and killed Ooh, that's all right. of these guys. So, uh, yep, so this would have killed that them. That is the Reaver? That is the Reaver. Reaver is now dead. Okay, okay, so as Keep you going. can see, you're good. So what I'm looking at is I need 10 to break through mm -hmm. and at least five to get some points out of the middle. So six, uh, 11. Um, yeah, so I don't have enough to quite do that yet. Still, oh, you just need I to can generate break the middle. Though. One more. Uh, one more in, uh, oh. or no, two more. If you had another level two unit or you had just spent... Okay, so we'll spend him for that blue instinct. Okay. Which gives me that other level two goon. So you can't do that. But you Wait. can you can spend whatever he says on him. You can't get an extra instinct, unfortunately. Oh. It's not one of the options. Oh, 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 I don't know why I misinterpreted that. That's okay. Um, okay, so then... Yeah, unfortunately, you don't have enough instinct to use a wild action. Let me get a dweller. Okay. 
That's uh, good. Good idea. You I use need that. something fun. You can use a purple to gain another dweller. Yeah. Did you get anything good? Uh, maybe not this turn. No. Okay. okay. So let's mobilize. So again, I need fifteen. So it was six. Yeah, I'm short. Yeah. But I need you to. You can at least still get one out of the center. Position. Uh, I don't see how I have enough though. Um, well, because if you move, oh, all I'm, you need is five. I right? can't do math right now. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So it's that. Yes, he stays back. Okay. So we're moving one, two, three. Another one can stay back because he's here. Yep. So this movement will take. You just need those four. Yep. Yep. Fourteen yep. here. I move again to move them here. Yep. And then one more to move into the middle. One more smash. Very nice. So this well goes done. away. And you get to choose one of those tokens from the center. Oh, uh, it's right. Just by smashing this, you get one. Well, by smashing that, and you've got an extra oh, five. Yes, so because you get one they the went center. away. Yes. And so these guys all go away. And I now get one of these for points. Perfect. Whoops. I saw how many it was. <laughs> it's okay. It flipped. It's good. It's good. All right. Uh, That's it for me. Is that the end of your turn? All right. Fantastic. So now we do the claw action for the final part. Um, wow. Really? Improve the threat marker again. Uh, forward two spaces and add a cog to the center. Oh, we're just, we're doing great, man. Okay. All right. Two spaces forward brings it to me. That is less good. Yikes. Uh, it's very less good. We're nowhere so, close to 10 points right now. Uh, no, we're definitely not. You did need to have 10 points to get into the middle. So I am going to go ahead and push it forward by one. You're trying to make us lose. I'm just trying to get you to have the token, not me. Which token? Because uh, whatever's coming out is going down on you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Which is, you've got so much space up there. Uh, well, I just can't afford to have it. That's because I don't me. have my troops all over the place. Well, not anymore. All yeah. right. I, I have definitely caught up to you there. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll let it stick. Beautiful. I love that idea. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much for your sacrifice, sir. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> it's a 15. I'm so glad I didn't let it fall on me. Holy cats. Okay. Uh, that is All the right. end of this round, so Ooh. now we go back to the orders phase. So again, still being first player, I have to move forward one or two spaces. Uh, looking at the things that are available here, there's a lot of really interesting options. Uh, but I still think what I want to do is probably get the Intel card. So move me forward to the Intel space, please. Thank you. And now you have the option, if you go on the, onto the other side, you get an Intel card, plus you, you now would be first player. Yeah, um, tempting. Or you could move backwards again and keep second player. Yeah, I'm not sure that there's any of the dwellers over there that I'm in love with. Um, I don't see any passives. So, um, I will just draw one from the deck, which is the market, correct? Okay. Yep. So but gonna I'm going to do deck. it over here. Very smart. All right, so I'm not going to move you. Neither one of us have intel cards, so I'm giving you that uh, and then you're gonna get one dweller and one instinct or one intel card as well there you go hand limit is five hand limit is five yes so Ooh, be aware when does of what that you have. take into effect instantly uh, basically yeah okay and I'm gonna get uh, an intel card and then another intel card and a dweller because now we're at the next section here and now we will generate so Grab your tokens from your wells. Two reds, one green. And then you grab your tokens from your guys here. So I get another yellow and a blue. Beautiful. And now we're going to get rid of these top two. Pull these up and generate some new ones. Uh, light an exploration well. And then uh, place one construct lab in your zone. Wow, that one's really good. Woo! All right. And so um, the dwellers have to be down here for me to use them. Correct. Which means I got to get these guys out to get these guys down to use them. Exactly. So you can yep. always like discard one if you want. Um, it's up to you. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So we got to get more stuff mobilized into yep. the middle. And you are first player, so yes, I am. You, sir. That 15's a little nerve-wracking. I think much. we can deal with him. 
Um, okay, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to use that to actually get a Zeppelin out. Okay. And then we got four level two goons. I did not generate my goons. Oh, yes. Uh, so we, uh, you may... <laughs> good plan, good plan. Yep. Which is at all of your constructs. There we it's go. It's so, like, there's a lot of noise going on, so it's hard to concentrate yeah. sometimes. There's lots of people walking by. It's, yes. Yes. We're good. We're very good. <laughs> I just streamed live yesterday. Talk about distracting. Yeah. Uh, from a vehicle. From is a what moving I'm vehicle. A moving vehicle is very yeah. distracting. You don't mm -hmm. think it is till you do it. Um, okay, so that was four level two do, do, goons. Nice. Which are all going to be spawned here. Very nice. With my Zeppelin. Okay. It can hold four goons, five. correct? Five goons. Yep. So which is all five of those dudes. Yep, that's the idea. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, um, we are going to move those guys. Okay. And then when I move that one this will move two to this group's one so uh, no you have to move if you're moving it as a group you move the slowest movement of the group gotcha okay so uh 15. all right so two movements to smash all that into there okay so i wouldn't have needed the zeppelin then good man um if it's all right i'm gonna We're take filming. my zeppelin back because all of these troops will move the same amount. So I apologize about that. That's fine. Which means I'm taking that that yellow back because I no want worries. to smash all 15 yep. of this into that, Perfect. which means you're gone. Every single one of you guys are gone. Uh, I just didn't realize that my whole troop would be slowed down. So I yeah, no, no use for a Zeppelin. Totally fine. But now I'll go ahead and replenish and let's get a tank out. Good plan. That's it for me. All right. Claw turn. Claw turn. All right. Move the threat marker forward for... Oh. <laughs> okay. So now you see these ex exclamation points. That means the Trouble. game has now entered into the final phases. So we will only be able to move one space per turn. We no longer draw cards. It's literally just to draw tokens from the bag. That, that's all we're doing. Uh, and we have no way to fix it. You can't move it forward. You can't move it backward. Your intel cards are just used for other things now. So it is going in my district no matter what I do. And the lovely part of it is it's going right here, but it will stop here and kill this. So that's great. That's just it's wonderful. Wonderful that it did that. Uh, cool. So now uh, it is my turn. And that is in my way. It's very much in my way. Uh, I don't like that at all. Okay, so I have to figure out a way to get rid of that thing. The good news is I have five hunting tokens. These five hunting tokens do one damage each, and I can kill that reaver right out of the gate. So that is dead now. Okay, now um, What am I going to do? I am going to use these tokens here to put down two of my tanks right here. And then I am going... I don't have enough tokens to do extra things, which is very frustrating. Uh, I'm going to do this to get a level two unit down here. He won't be really helpful right now, but maybe next round he will. And then I'm going to move two spaces, killing two guys from the center here. It's still very, very, very challenging. Challenging, challenging. Um, <clears throat> and then I have one more action left here. So let's move all of these guys up to here with this action. And then that'll be the end of my turn. We don't draw cards anymore. We just advance one space and pull a token. We're in uh -oh. the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Oh, and it's a cage. Uh. Cage means all of our goons or all of our uh, dwellers go away. Every last one of them. All of them? Every last one of them. He doesn't target just one number? Nope. Right here, he targets all of them. All of them. <laughs> that hurts a lot. 
That hurts so much. Actually, that hurts you way more than me. Yeah, because you still uh, have some. I, well, yes. So it, they immediately go down. And I prefer the ones in my hands to the one that I had out. <sighs> okay, so here goes here. That's great. So now he's going to keep going in a... Yeah, great. That's wonderful. The good news is he's going to go see you next, so I'm okay with that. <clears throat> All right. And um, it is now uh, the orders phase. So you go first. Forward two spaces or one space. Great. I'm going to go backwards two spaces and end on the dweller market. Perfect. Uh, are you using any Intel cards? We can I still use, use first. Intel here, just not here. Correct. Yeah. I'm not going to use any Intel cards. Me. Oh. And then I would actually end up with your order instead, too, correct? If I were to swap orders, for example? Yeah, so after, after the uh, Intel option is over, then you can play the swap orders. Okay. I don't want to, though. Okay. I want my instinct. All right, sounds good. So I'm going to draw my technically three dwellers and one yep. Intel card, and I'll give you one dweller and one Intel. And then you can grab one green instinct, one of the uh, scavenge, and then one of anything else that you want. All right, and then we're going to generate. So we get rid of two of these bad boys. Slide all these up. <coughs> Blue, green. And then generate on our board. So I get Red, two yellow. more of these. Yeah, there we go. Now it's getting fun. One of these, one of these, and then two Whoops. of these. Interesting. Jeez, I haven't been doing any reds. And I have a passive here now that allows me to also gain a survival instinct. Nice. So he's an additional. Yep. And then don't forget to drop your uh, goons in yes, your district. Yes, drop my goons. Here. And here. All right, I get to go first. He does. I need somehow to pull four out of the center this turn. I just don't know how I'm going to do that. Yeah, he's trying to get this one here. Yeah. Um, Not sure we're set up to be getting four cogs. We're, I'm trying. We're I'm going to try generating. really hard. I'm going to try really hard. Um, okay. So I have three actions. What can I do with these three actions? I could do one movement to there. And then I could do another movement to there. And then one more movement in. All right. So that makes sense. Uh, can I, can I, here we go. I'm spending all three of these exploration tokens to draw three new dwellers and see if anything good here comes up. Man. Oh, these are great. They're great, but they just don't, they just don't, they just don't. They're not what I need. They're not what I need. Um, I have to get rid of one of these, which is very frustrating. So I'm going to go ahead and do this extinguish one lit well in any zone. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and get rid of that blue well over there. Um, and then I'm going to put this one hopefully down and we don't get any more scary stuff happening. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I, I feel like this is possible. Maybe. Um, I need to move. These are five all by themselves. That's just one. And then these two. Okay, so I'm gonna gener I'm gonna build two of these tanks uh, here in this zone, and then I need one more. I just need one more. Ooh, if I can, that's one, two, and three though, right? Yeah, man, just not there. Ah, oh, one, two. Dan, do you have I'm in that bag? same place you are where I can't. Oh. I'm just short by one. Uh -huh. One flipping person. Hey, you guys want to spin the wheel? Mm. Yes, you That's terrible. Wheel. Okay, well, I'll do what I can do. So, oh, I have hunting tokens. I can use that. That's perfect. All right, so here's what we do I'm going to move these here. This is a five. So these five are going to move into this middle zone or this middle district here with these guys. Then I'm spinning these two to slam all of this into the center, 
plus one hunting token because I'm short one right there. So that works. So that'll be two and then two more for these. So that'll be a total of four out of the center. One, two, three, and four along with that beautiful card. Makes me very, very happy. Makes me very happy. Okay. And now, sir, uh, it is the claw's turn. Uh, no, just move forward by one. This moves to your district, and then we draw a token. Uh, uh, it is an eight. That's probably the best thing that could have happened for you. So that goes there, and then if you'll move those two down there, perfect. All right. It is now your turn, sir. Woo. For the record, we have your turn, and then one more. So whoever gets the first place the next round gets one more action. Okay. So, um, we got to get some trips. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's get our other tank. Let's you know what? It. I'm going to be super helpful for you. Okay. Super helpful. I'm going to, on this instant action here, I'm going to force the claw to move one, uh, do its construct, one space forward. Okay. So, it's really good. So, I'm going to push this into there, which will then just shove all that that way. Perfect. Okay. Super helpful. So much better, right? <laughs> yeah. So much better. Um, not so much, but that's all right. We're going to move that, use that red to slide him there, which slides him there, which slides him there. That's a, way better, is in it? my opinion. Oh. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. It is. I see what you did there. Yeah. I so, very much don't like that. <laughs> Two of those. Four, wait, hold on. Let's do them one at a time. Let's get this Zeppelin out. No, 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 no. Uh, dang it. We don't want the Zeppelin yet. We okay. want a bunch more. We want more goons. All right. So that green was a goon. That green is a goon. 10, 15. Got 15. That's good. We only have like four four tokens in the center, so we could end the game There's ourselves three. before we get to the end. That's what I'm shooting for. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out: can I get a fourth? I got three. Can I get a fourth? I don't well, think so. If you, uh, no, because it, you could. Well, how many blue tokens do you have? Just one. Just one. Because you and could one spend red. three together, and then you could gain another construct. But that construct would be a ship, and you need to put a level two in it to get a token. Yeah. And you don't have another level two, right? No. So, all right, I'll, I'll use, yeah, so one, two, three. So all of my movements to ram 15 in, All right. except I'll use one of these to make up and just keep him back. Okay. So there's 14 of my guys wiped out. Okay. To take out 15 of these guys, and yep. my red made up the difference so I could save this goon. Perfect. So these are all now mine. <coughs> I have three of those. Okay. You've got way more. You got I have five a few extra. Yeah, yeah, I have a few extra. And he's got an objective. I do have an objective. I mean, yeah. Rough sailing here. Good news is, it's going into your zone. I assume that's the end of your turn. Um, what other, what claw constructs do we have out here? We just have the one rhino. We, we just have the rhino. Yep. Okay. Um, nope, that's it for me. Okay. So this one's going into your zone and it's another rhino. Oh. So then this one oh. would go here. Perfect. All right. Are you ready? It is order's turn. I'm going to move forward one space onto the, the little lines. Yep. Perfect. And now you can either move forward or backward one or two spaces. Currently, you're in first place, which means you're the person that gets to go. Now, we do still have opportunities to play Intel cards. So. Yes, we do. Uh, so, that being said, what I'll do is uh, I want to stay in first, so I'll move here. All right. Sounds good. I... Um, actually, yeah. One, two, uh, I should have moved forward two spaces. Do you mind if we retcon and I move forward one extra space? Okay. That was my goal. This way? Yep, perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. All right, I'm going to spend an Intel card. Are you spending an Yay! Intel card? 
technically you get to ask first, but I'm no. going to spin one. I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to move forward two spaces. So one, two, and then I'm going to move forward another two spaces. One, two, and then I'm going to move forward another space, which puts me on the two intel over there, but I gain another intel card. And then I'm immediately spinning that and moving three spaces. So one, two, and three gets me to here. And that means I spent four intel cards on this turn, which means I get that spin four intels, right? Or that's the one you gave me. You gave me the four intel cards. I need the cog oh. one is the one that I earned originally. Oh, and we should have had an extra one out before this no, turn started. No, it doesn't started. come out until the orders phase. Oh, excuse so me. We're, okay. we're perfect. Yep. Okay. All right. So now uh, it is now time to... Uh, to take our intel, our options here. So I get this and you get the same thing. So three for you, or yes. yeah, three for you and one intel card. There you go. And then three for me and one intel card as well. And then if you flip two new objectives over. Have three dwellers of the same instinct type on your player board at the start of your turn. Light three wells during your turn. All right. Okay, so now I can I can discard these at this Absolutely. time. Absolutely, yep. So I want to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of that. Uh-huh. Very nice. So you immediately can take that one. Good job. Very nicely done. All right, got to make up some ground somewhere here. Yep. He's got his two objectives over there. Um, Maybe I could try to light. Oh, yeah, I got to generate now. Yep. Which is going to be three reds. Please spin the wheel. I'm very excited for this. It's going to be great. And a green. I'm not generating a lot of instinct, unfortunately. You, yeah, not like know. your last turn where you had piles of it. So I don't know I feel what happened better. to you. I don't know what happened to you, man. Well, you wiped something, out my wells is what happened. Something happened there. It was very scary for you. I'm so sorry. A little bit. I don't know about scary, but it was consequential. That's for sure. Yeah, so sorry about that. Okay. No. Uh, um, don't forget to put a goon out at each of your labs. I could try to steal the last objective token from West. It would trigger the end of the game. Yeah. But I don't think I would it's beat him. It's going to trigger the end of the game anyway at the end of your in turn. In the next, yeah. yeah so, so nothing happens. I don't get to play. I just need to I need to beat him to those extra points. The yep. only question is, can I get an objective card while I'm at it? Yeah, so what are those two objectives again? Eliminate two-player constructs during your turn, not Zeppelins or Labs. So you can't get that one because nope. I don't have any. And light three wells during your turn. So you could technically light three wells. I mean, that's three VP plus getting into the center. Yeah, because that's one, two, three. Yeah, you just have to have two uh, Two of the... Uh, you have to have... Well, three is one. My yep. purple and then the green is a wild would be yep. three that's wells. perfect, yep. Now, and then as I have to have to get out of the center. presence in those areas to light them. You just have to have a goon in the area. Yes. Yep. Okay. So first, let's use that one to light this well. Perfect. So that's one. Yep. And then can I get this group of... Can I get a group of five into the middle? Well, I got to generate a goon to get five. There you go. That's four. Yeah, you're Shoot. still short by one. Oh, I don't know if I could do it. So I just got to look at the most points, which is three VP. These go from one, one to, to three. three. So it's a I'm guaranteed, guaranteed three. here. Yep. So this is my better move. So therefore, we're going to move our goon squad over here. Okay. And then... Um, Oh, that was my first movement. Yes. So then we'll light that well. We'll light that one up with purple. And then just because so our... Technically, you have to discard goons to be able to do that. Oh, or uh, dwellers, oh, remember? that's right. So they should both be red, technically. I do keep forgetting that yep, rule. that's okay. Apologies. So yes, those both have to be red. Correct. And yeah, that's, that's really our goal at this point so anything exciting in your dwellers that you could use to 
because you Man. also have to move that guy one hey, in your zone. Right, yeah, I can't get rid of those things to light that third well. Uh, oh, yeah, I can. So I'm going to get rid of this to put down this guy, and I'm going to kill that claw construct right there for you. This so one? that you can get into the center. Look at this. He's being nice today, well, folks. Well, you know, I was kind of mean to once. That's crazy. So. I don't even know why he's doing it. <laughs> and that's those three to make it a wild Yep. And for so me to grab that this. Good job. Very nicely done. Which does leave stuff in the middle for him to grab. But no, you can still get in, right? That's what it is. You oh. still have your movement left. Man, what you is he doing here? He's setting me up to potentially That's win. That's perfect. He's being nice, so we invite him back is what's happening. Well, I mean, you know, it's exciting to see when it's fun at the very end, right? It is. All right. So that now means game ends instantly. The last token's been drawn. Uh, so now we both have uh, objective cards. How much of your objective cards were? Six. My objective cards are worth six as well. So they basically counter each other out, right? Now it becomes a game of flip tokens over. Yep, and the so, 10 doesn't count, right? Or that does one it? does not count. That's nope. right. Okay. All right, so now we've got these tokens. I have a total of seven tokens. Oh, I have five. You have five. So let's flip. I'm going to flip two of mine over, okay? If you saw our tabletop simulator teach, you had way more tokens than me and only beat me by three. Yeah, yeah. Because I crazy. had all the threes. You did have all the threes. It was so unfair. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to one for one. So bring yours closer over here oh, so we can see them. Oh! Okay. And it's now still a tie. another one over. I got a two. Oh! Are you kidding up me? Up by one. And another one. Oh, I got a three. You got a three. Still up by one. Come on. I got a one. And you got a two. Up by two. Okay, so you're up by two. It was a tie. It's a tie? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know what breaks ties? The last one to get a cog out of the center. So congratulations, Mike. You hey, win the game. Claw winning! Very, very nice. Very nice. Congratulations, man. Well, well done. Well, he helped me out tremendously, <sighs> which he would not do if we were not doing a demo. It's true. It's true. I mean, I, I did have a few things in here that were very mean that I could have done to you, but I chose not to. West loves being mean in games, <laughs> but deep down, he's a super nice guy. I'm a big softie. So. What can I say, folks? What can I say? So this has been our demo of Claw from Gen Con. This was awesome. This yeah, is the man. first time that this prototype has Thanks been on display. Uh, you're going to see a lot more from this game coming up very soon because yeah. uh, this game is great. has a lot of great stuff going on. So well, Thank you, buddy. I appreciate um, it. Wes, anything else you want to say about this game or where it's going to be or the future of where this is going? Yeah, so uh, we are going to be kickstarting this in probably the fall of 2024. Uh, right now we're working on the three player experience, trying to figure out three and four players, trying to figure out exactly how to make it work beautifully on the board. Uh, we will be here at Gen Con. We're gonna be uh, doing demos in the first exposure hall, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, you can certainly check us out there. And obviously if you're uh, looking to play the game and you miss those for any reason, just give me a holler, I'd love to play. Uh, we can set up a tabletop simulator and, and I'd love to have the opportunity to teach it to you so that you can try it out and uh, enjoy this type of game. Especially if you're a vicious take that person like me, man, this is really fun. It's really fun. It is. There, there's a lot of way to screw the other player over, which oh, yeah. gives it a lot of interaction. So. Absolutely. All right, guys, this was a blast. This was Mike and Wes from Gen Con. This is the Board Game Rundown. See you next time.